Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you the new bow that's out. It's the Compound Bow Pulsar. I hope you enjoy. So here we have the Compound Bow Pulsar. This is the new bow out. As you can see it does have a new quiver, that's the side of the bow. And it also has a new reload animation. This is a bow, just iron sights. Just standard, without the scope on. Pins are set to 20, 40 and 60 meters. 20 being the top, 40 being the middle, and 60 being the bottom. Now, this is with the scope on. Let me just adjust the scope here. Unfortunately, I have to put the arrow on the bow again. It's quite annoying that, so I'll get to that in a minute. So here we are. This is a scope for it. Nice and big little circles there so you can easily tell where the where you need to hit on the target. That's 30 meters, so it should be the second top pin down because the pins are 0 to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Yep, there we go. As you can see, it is quite powerful. It's pretty much the same power as the snake bite. It's only a tad bit more powerful than the Parker Python bow, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, for the Parker Python bow, I will say that it does have an advantage over the pulsar being that you can lie down like this, get it up, and then shoot. Swap and lie down. Now, let's try that with the same thing, do the same thing with the pulsar and see if there's any difference between time. So, as you can tell, it is quite a bit slower, which could mean the time of an animal to spook from you or not. So, the pulsar is really for taking out targets that are at a distance, not too close, because if you take them too close, you do risk the chance of them actually spooking from you, because you do have that extra reload. Oh, that's a bit weird. I haven't equipped an arrow there. I don't know why that occurred, but yeah, there we go, first bug of the day. Unless it's... no? Okay, wow, okay, well. <laughs> I do have an elk up there, so let's see if we can take it out with an invisible arrow, I suppose. It's not even working. Um, Alright, well, let's give it a shot, shall we? <laughs> So yes, the Pulsar bow is definitely better than the other two compound bows. The only disadvantage being is it does take more time for you to actually draw the bow and sit there and crouch than do it super fast like the other compound bows do. And that could make all the difference between spooking a trophy animal or not. Especially when you don't hunt in much camo like me. Oh shit. There's an elk already, far out, that was close. He's trying to sniff me, which is pretty funny. Alright, let's get him nice and close. Now, I'm not sure what's happening with my bow at the moment. It seems to be bugs, so I'll reload some extra arrows here. Now, this is going to be a huge disadvantage here. Hopefully, it doesn't spook. Let's see that reload time, though. With the other bows, you don't have to do that. It becomes quite tedious in the shot of the moment sort of thing. Alright, so he's coming in, I think. He might be stuck. There might be an invisible wall there, so might have to get a bit closer here. I don't want to crouch walk forward because he's obviously going to see me. Just keep it nice and quiet here. Hopefully he doesn't spook. 
Um, for my recommendation of actually buying the bow, I reckon buy it with the scope because the scope is quite really helpful on turkeys. Um, the larger the, the pin sight is, especially on turkey, it seems to help a lot more. I'll try an elk. This is my first shot in elk. It also has a stabilizer, so it's more steady on your shots. So that probably means it's like 5 shooting skill level ahead than all the other bows that start out with, maybe. I assume. Because it is quite steady already, and it's level 2 at the moment, my bow. I have used it a bit, not too much. Let's go over and harvest this elk. Look, quite a nice one. Not a monster by any means, but a good target practice just to show you how the bow performs. And we got the elk a double lung and a liver, so you can get double lung on elk at 43 meters, 0.5, so that's pretty damn good. That's usually the max distance you really want to be shooting elk anyway to begin with. So, yes, very nice bow, 301 in score, so not the biggest elk, but just showing you the bow itself. Now you can see it in third person as well. So, with my recommendation, I reckon definitely pick it up, but you do have to be a bit more careful in what is actually around you before you shoot, I have noticed. So, other than that, great bow, good addition pick it up, have some fun with it. Now if you like, I'll just go over the information here, just so you can have a read of it if you want. I did think this was just a reskin of the Parker Python bow, but it actually isn't because they changed the draw weight here to 70 LBS instead of 60, which is the Parker Python bow right here. See? So they did change it, it is a new bow, it's not just a reskin like I thought. And here's the scope. So this is some bonus footage I just decided to add of this monster black tail that's coming in. It's a really big one. It predicts... 15 to 35. Now, of course, this is not a monster black tail, but it's a monster in its own right, being that it is a very, very small one. It's the smallest black tail I have ever come across. So let's take it out. I'm just being extremely careful here. I'm pretty sure I don't have to be this careful, but I, I just want to make sure I actually get it. So here we go. I'm just waiting for a nice clean shot here because I don't want to rush it because it is within all the foliage there and the arrow could easily hit one of the invisible walls that are next to the trees or maybe a little branch or something like that. So just waiting for the perfect moment. And of course he stops right there. <laughs> Alright, let's take it out now. Nice clean kill. Let's go over and collect it. It would be really nice of the developers to actually add a leaderboard of the lowest possible scoring animal because a 20.394 for a blacktail is extremely low. The lowest blacktails you can get is 15. So let's go take the trophy shot now. And there's me in the trophy shot. Very proud of this kill. That's it for this video. Remember, if you want to see more content from me, you can always check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.